And now, the continuation of Hell's Kitchen. Piss off. I'm proud, man. We actually finished dinner service, which is a monumental shift in momentum for us. It's all like Donkey Kong, bitches. The only reason that we made it through that service is because we fucking fought. We needed this. The blue team needed this. You know, the girls are down one member now. We ain't stopping. Let's fucking really fuck Charles tomorrow, man. Yeah. While the blue team celebrates their victory, the red team's Tiffany and Kimmy... Kimmy, you stuck with that bitch again. ...blame one person for their defeat. The wrong person went home tonight, dude. The only person dragging the team down is Barbie. Oh, God! Fucking bitch is still fucking here. It's driving me insane. She sucks. There's nothing good about her. After a string of unreliable, inconsistent services by both teams, Chef Ramsay wants the chefs up early, and he's relying on man's best friend to make sure it happens. Everybody get up! Come on! Oh, dogs! What is this? Dogs? Come on, everybody, get up! Let's go! Everybody up, grab an outfit, get dressed, and we'll see you downstairs. Oh, sweet. We're going to farm? I'm old, I'm Donald, and it looks like I'm going to a farm. I'm old McDonald. Get it done. <laughs> I see a big fenced in pen, and uh, Chef Ramsey's just kind of standing there waiting on us to get in. Let's go. I'm like, hell yeah, from Tennessee. I'm totally down to get dirty and, and be country. Right, good morning. Morning, Chef. For your next challenge, I want you to get really close to your ingredients. But trust me, you will not be shopping for your ingredients. Oh, no. Here we go. <laughs> Here they come. Holy crap. There's a lot of damn sheep. And I'm like, oh, boy, what are we doing here? Wow. There we are. OK, listen carefully. I want each sheep to make four lamb dishes. In the pen here, there are about 30 sheep. Look carefully, because they have all the ingredients you will be using written across their bodies and on their collars. One member from each team will go into the pen, grab that ingredient. After that, you run back and you tag the next member of your team. Basically, hurry up and grab as many ingredients as possible. Yeah. It's like, oh, sweet, not afraid of farm animals. I'm like, I'm ready to pack them. Let's go. Red team, blue team, five minutes to get as many ingredients as you can. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Your time starts now. Off you go. Let's go. In this challenge, the teams must race to catch as many sheep collars as they can. Potato! The chefs will have to think on their feet while attempting to stay on their feet in order to have enough ingredients to make four lamb dishes. While some of the chefs, like Robin and Patrick, are not afraid to get down and dirty, sheep whisperer Clemenza has a different approach. I'm eating dirt, and he's walking up. They didn't move for him. And Roshni's strategy seems to be catching more dirt than sheep. With time running down. One minute to go. Both teams scramble to get as many ingredients as they can. Keep it going, keep it going. Mustard, 15 seconds to go. Three, two, one, and stop. Beautiful. Beautiful. We got one less item than the woman did, but you know what? I think we got some good ingredients, you know? Let's get back to Hell's Kitchen. You'll get changed, and I'll see you back in the kitchen. Let's go. Right, chef, Hurry up. Yeah, men are going to win today, man. We haven't won a challenge yet. We're going for it, man. There's no stopping us today. It's a blue day. It's a blue, it's a blue, blue day. day. After a quick change back at Hell's Kitchen, the chefs gather for the second part of the challenge. OK, red team, blue team, let's go. I want each team to make four yeah. stunning dishes. A lamb steak, rack of lamb, Lamb chop and ground lamb. Your 45 minutes starts from now. Let's go. With the clock counting down, the team split into pairs and quickly divide up their selected ingredients. I'm going to start making us a crust for the outer side of the lamb. All we got to do is cook that lamb perfectly. While Barbie and Robin have already started cooking their rack of lamb. Let's go, guys. Over in the blue kitchen. And what are you doing to the lamb? Talk to me. Justin and Guy are still coming up with a game plan. You can cook it, and I'll plate while you finish it off. It's got to be on top of time, and we'll be fine. Ah! Ah! 
What's wrong? Ah! Ah! All of a sudden, I look up, and, and guy, he's running around yelling. Ah! Medic, please. Ah! I'm kind of nervous for him. So I'm thinking dude must be cut pretty bad. Yeah, just, yeah, just yeah. wrap it up for me, and I'm, I got to go back. I'm like, you know what? It's not that bad. I'm fine. You can't break down like a little bitch. Hey, guy. When you yelled, it sounded like you'd just been circumcised without an anesthetic, for fuck's sake. A big boy like you, come on. Yes, chef. Pick it up, Justin. We chef. While Justin covers for his injured teammate over in the red kitchen. I just really wanted to do a curry. You want to do a curry sauce? We'll do a curry sauce. Kimmy takes a risk on the ground lamb. If he hears curry, he's going to think it's me. It's not. Memphis girl doing curry, guys. 20 minutes. Let's go. Rack of lamb is in the oven. Uh, is, don't you think that's too early? We've overcooked the fucking rack of lamb. Yeah, we have 20 minutes. Get it out, rack of lamb. It takes a long time to cook. But since this is also a team challenge, you gotta listen to your other teammates too. Behind. When we're done, we'll hit it with a tiny bit of salt over the top. I don't want to salt anything anymore. I knew what I was doing with the lamb. I don't want to overthink it. No, I know. I'm just, let's run through one more time. I'm better than all these guys. We're gonna knock this out of the park. Let's go, ladies. Last minute. We're good. Let's go. No, that white stuff is not cooked. Okay. We're not good. Well. We were out of time. I knew it should have stayed in there. I was told to take it out by my team, and I should have listened to myself. But when this is a team event, you have to listen to what your teammates say. 15 seconds to go. We're walking right. up. Piss. 10. Guys, you got to cut it now. Eight, you got to get the sauce. Get the sauce. Seven, get the sauce. Seven, fill up. More six, cup. Let's go. Just Five, pour it on. Four, three, get it up, get it up, get two, it up. one, and stop. OK. Is everybody happy with their dishes? Yes, Chef. Good. Let's start off with the Battle of the Lamb Chop. Let's go. Let's go, Clemenza. Up first, Tiffany and Danielle will face off against Clemenza and Don. Tiffany, give me something inspirational, please. Yes, Chef. Uh, I have a anchovy and pine nut crusted lamb chop uh -huh. with a souffle. You did a souffle? As soon as she said souffle, I was like, hell yeah, we got the point. No way in the world that you made souffle so fast. Why are you doing a souffle? I thought it would go nice. Mmm. It's fucking delicious. Thank you, chef. Trust me, I'd pay a lot of money for that. Good job. Thank well you. done. Clemenza. We have an herb crusted grilled lamb with a roasted cauliflower feta melt. Lamb chop looks like Steven Tyler's earlobe. I don't need the feather and all the fucking <laughs> bits of crap going with it. You can take that back. The mustard and the feta yeah. just melts in your mouth. Delicious. Thank you, chef. Very tough one. A very tough one to decide. The point goes to. The point goes to both of you. Congratulations. Yeah. Both teams are off to an impressive start, and the score is tied. Okay, let's go next. Battle of the ground lamb. Now it's time for Patrick's lamb sausage to go head to head with Roshni and Kimmy's curry creation. I'm real nervous because it's the first time I've ever done it. Curry. Da, 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 da. Uh, this is lamb kebe on the bottom of a coconut curry sauce. And the idea, of course, was drawing from your roots. Actually, the curry sauce was made by Kimmy. She wanted to try something she never did before, so. A coconut curry sauce for the first time? Yes, chef. So both of you now are using me as your guinea pig. Mm. It's delicious. Thank you, chef. Yes! I'm glad today I've been your guinea pig, because that's delicious. Thank you, chef. Patrick, going solo on your own, yes, what chef. is that? It's an appetizer, chef, of uh, lamb and fennel sausage. Mm -hmm. mm. My presentation is so much better. It's a very simple, elegant dish, and I think I'm going to get us a point. Do you know what? It's creative. I like the combination, you, chef. I mean, you've got two very tasty dishes. Nice. However, there's one dish that has the edge on the seasoning. <sighs> Congratulations, Roshni. Well done. Thank well you, done. Chef. This Memphis bitch made a fucking curry. Thanks to Kimmy and Roshni's curry gamble, the women have the lead. Come forward with a rack of lamb, please. Let's go. Now it's Barbie and Robin's rack of lamb versus Justin and Guy's. Barbie, what is that? We made a rack of lamb with a parsnip puree with braised leeks. It's raw. It should stay in there longer. The lamb is raw. I'd like to eat that, but. Yeah, you know, I've still got four children to look after. I mean, that's raw. Robin. Yeah, chef. It's raw. I know, chef. I put it in the oven. It should have stayed in there a little bit longer. That's what I'm saying. Fucking hell. Justin, give me something. I have a grilled rack of lamb, roasted garlic and basil puree, and turnips three ways. The dish works. 
congratulations to the blue team. Good job. Yeah. yeah OK, it all comes down to the lamb steak. Let's go. Come on, Come on Royce. Royce. With the score tied, Dana and Christina's dish will battle Royce and Brian's to determine the winner. OK, <laughs> let's go. Right, Dana, what is that? A braised lamb steak. Mm -hmm. And underneath is sautéed spinach. Mm -hmm. Me and Christina got to bring this home. We have to get this point. Uh, braising it was a bold move. But it worked. Uh, Thank delicious. you, Chef. Good job. Yeah, Dana. Royce, what is it? I got something that's going to blow your fucking mind, Ramsey. That's what I got. We have a marinated grilled lamb steak with an avocado mousse and a mixed pepper slaw. Mousse is delicious. Thank you. You don't think of an avocado mousse with a lamb steak. However, it works beautifully, seasoned perfectly. Um, listen, both of you, two very good dishes. Really good dishes. Tough one, this one. Very tough. I was getting a little nervous, but I, at the end of the day, I did what I had to do. I made perfection. <sighs> really tough. Come on, man. Come on. Point goes to. Congratulations. Blue team. Yeah! Yes! yes! Yeah, baby! Holy shit, we won a fucking challenge. Honestly, I feel like I just gave birth, and I'm so proud. Good job, buddy. Good job, guys. <laughs> The dishes across the board were phenomenal. But there was one dish that stood out for all the wrong reasons. Robin and Barbie, what in the hell were you both doing? I seared it, I put it in the oven. That was the first thing I do because I knew it took the longest. But I heard other, other whispers in the kitchen said, don't fuck up the lamp. So Working in a team, dude. It doesn't matter, chef. I should have left it in there longer. You're responsible. You're right. accountable for what you put out. Right. That's what I said. I'm responsible for the dish. I'm just tired of listening to people. I'm here for myself. It's a fucking competition. I'm here to fucking win. Fuck everyone else now. Men, congratulations. Thank, Thank you, Jeff. I've arranged a stunning VIP trip for a day at the races. Yes. <laughs> I'm ready to go. I love the fucking racetrack. Can we get some cash to gamble? <laughs> Here's 100. Yeah, Off we go. Keep the change. I hope you win. <laughs> Thank you, Chef. Good luck. I want that going on the horse, not on hot dogs. <laughs> uh, you got it. Get ready, because your chauffeur and limousine is about to pull up. Well done. Off you go. Thank you, Chef. Thank you, Chef. Congratulations. OK, ladies. Oh, no. Trust me, you have a lot of hard work ahead of you. First off, all those sheep. They can't go back to the farmyard with all that paint over them, so you'll be cleaning their butts. God. Hell's Kitchen is open tonight. so. I want the kitchens cleaned and prepped as well. Got it? Yes, sir. Get cleaning. Thanks, Robin and Barbie, for making us do this punishment. <laughs> if it weren't for you guys fucking up your lamb, we could have been out on a reward right now. I don't want to hurt it. Girls! Oh, girls. girls! Red team, have a good day. Have a good day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. There you go, guys. Yep. Finally, we won something. I'm happy. We're going to have some fun. It's a great feeling. Okay. Chef Ramsey gave me $100 to go gamble. We picked the horse that was blue. Figuring blue team, we won. There's a fucking blue horse. Let's go with that. Long yeah, shot, right? Long blue. Shot. Go blue. Right, I think the odds are in our favor. Blue or blue? Come on. It's To a good start. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Where is he? Come on, go, 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 go. And then bang. Come on. Come on. Big Blue is dead last. You get points for last? <laughs> I probably could have ran faster than the horse. All you had to do was like dangle a piece of prosciutto in front of me. I would have ran that fucking race like there was no tomorrow. The blue team may have lost their bet, but the red team. Lamb testicles. <laughs> may be about to lose their lunch. Yeah. All right. Enjoy. Let's do it. Cannot eat this. Come on. Could be in pussies, guys. Danielle was totally being a bitch. Like, come on down. Just suck it up and stick the balls in your mouth. I'm already, I'm on my third, guys. Like, come on down. Don't All right, maybe that's too many. No, that, oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I can't do it when you're puking next I'm to me. Sorry. There's a, <laughs> look, I'm on number four. Like, come on, guys. I'm so happy for you. She feels like she's better than me because she's downing balls. Whoa, first prize for you. I'm fucking glad you're excited. Number five. Uh, Woo. What day was it? Blue day. Blue day. So every day we set goals. We set a goal to win this challenge. We don't fucking focus right now. Somebody's going to be going home. And 
it's a decision that I really don't want to make. I'd rather just fucking get it done. No, I agree. We're enjoying our reward, but we know what it's like to lose. So we're staying focused as a team, and that's reassuring. To the blue. To the blue, blue baby! Blue. As the reward unites the men back in Hell's Kitchen. Kimmy, thanks so much for knocking some of that down. I was, I like puked it. You're good. The Barbie dolls I was worried about. The punishment is starting to divide the women. Why do they care how much we ate? I don't know, because they feel stupid because they ate so much. Now it's starting to get clicky. All right. She's always in a bad mood lately. She's just bitchy. Yeah. I don't understand where her attitude is coming from. But I'm sure as hell not going to walk on eggshells. What, you think because you're 500 pounds, I'm not going to say anything about you? Kimmy, like, is there something I did to you today that you need to give me an attitude? Because just say it. Like, is there something I did? Or you just feel like giving me an attitude today? I just feel like giving you an attitude today. Yeah, that's that's mature. You know, I did eat five testicles, and you didn't, couldn't even get down one. Dude, and you just feel stupid because you ate five, and it didn't fucking matter. That's why you feel stupid. All right, let's not argue, OK? I'm not. She's fucking starting with me today. Why? Because I just threw Just relax. Standing fucking... back no, to the side. No, I'm always quiet, and now I'm pissed off. I respect you, but if you fuck with me, you're going to hear my mouth. <laughs> Dude, just get the fuck out of my kitchen if you're gonna act like that. The fuck? I didn't start it. I, I under... Okay. What, because she weighs five million pounds? I'm gonna shut up. This is when it gets ugly. With tensions running high in the red kitchen, the men return from their day at the races and quickly change for dinner service. We got momentum going right now. We've got a win from last night's dinner service. We've got today's challenge. So the blue team is going to win tonight. Period. Let's go, ladies. We're opening them now, yeah? Yes, chef. James. Yes, Chef. Open Hell's Kitchen, please. Let's go. Yes, Chef. As Hell's Kitchen opens for the fourth dinner service. Can I start with the risotto? My lamb looks good, too. The women are hoping to pull it together. You need to communicate with me, too, Danny. Yeah. OK. While the men are a tight unit, we can do this. <laughs> a really tight unit. I got your back. You got my back. I know. I love you. <laughs> Ladies, good luck. An order, four covers table, 34. Away now, three risotto, one scallops. Yes, 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 Let's go. What did he say? I didn't hear. I needed to repeat it. I mean, I'm sorry. Three risotto, one scallop. Oh, fuck. Are you serious, Daniel? Are you trying to get that dumb blonde look going? This is not good. It's coming, Chef. It's coming. Hi, I need box food. Behind. Hey, all of you, come here. Taste that. Yeah, just fucking taste it. Taste it. Yeah, how does that taste? Uh, undercooked, not Un seasoned. Yeah. How's that, you? Tell me. I just, I spit it out, Chef. Oh, really? It was undercooked, Chef. Sorry. So you're rushing? You're cooking bland food? It's coming, come chef. on, Danielle. It's coming, Chef. Come on, Danielle, concentrate. Somebody taste this. Tell me the veg. It tastes a little Asian. While Danielle starts over on the risotto, over in the blue kitchen, it's up to Justin on appetizers and Brian on fish to get the men off to a good start. Two risotto, two chipini. Hurry up, please, guys. Yes, yes. Let's go. I don't need anybody else to talk about me and Brian right now. I get the lead on the apps, guys. Good. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Let's go. Chipini, walking right now. Let's go with risotto behind you, chef. I right, fuck up, guys. The salmon's fucking raw. Back in the pan. Yes, chef. Hurry up. Yes, chef. Come on, you're holding me up now. Come on, baby. Dude, finish your chipino. Not complicated. You have two little baby pieces of fish in the pan to you. Whoop the fucking do day, man. Hey, need the chipino. Brian, let's go. Got it. While the blue team waits on Brian and his fish, the red team is still waiting on Danielle. How long on the risotto? No, it's almost ready. How much? I need to know. I need to drop the calamari. I need to drop the calamari, Danielle. All right, drop calamari. Go ahead. Come on, talk to me, guys. Hurry up. I'm going up, OK? Left the spaghetti and risotto. Communicate, you fucking dumb bitch. You ready, garnish? We're ready. What are you doing? Waiting on garnish. Waiting on garnish. It's up to you. Fucking A. Waiting on garnish. Oh, great. I'm kind of in my own zone, like, if you can't handle that garnish, that's your ass, not mine. Garnish! Right here, chef. I know you're not bothered. We are. I am bothered, chef. Oh, Christ. I'm working my hardest for you, chef. How are you doing over there, at garnish? Despite a lack of communication between Danielle and Robin. Service, please. Very nice, that risotto. 
the red team is still managing to push out appetizers. Thank you. And in the blue kitchen, Walk in. with Brian finally delivering on the cioppino. Finally. Service, please. Appetizers are leaving the kitchen at a steady pace. Very tasty. And now the men are ready to move on to entrees. Three shot, two lamb. How long? Three minutes, chef. I better redeem myself. Let's go. Let's bring it back together. Yeah, baby. Beautiful, golden, sexy little bastards. I just want to let the fish station know who's boss. It's me. God walking. Right behind you. Beautiful. Let's go, boys. The cod's raw. Ryan! Hey, you. Bozo, come here. Yes, Jack. The cod is raw. Fucking cat food. Fuck off, will you? Fuck me. Hey. Hello. Chef, what, what is that? Get another one in the pan, guys. Three cod, two lamb. How long? One minute, Chef. You need help. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. I just can't seem to cook fish. I just can't seem to do it tonight. Three car, two lamb. What are we waiting on? The card, chef. Oh, come on. Check if that's cooked, Justin. Please, chef. What's going on? What's going on? That's burnt. Oh, fuck. Burnt the goddamn fish. Oh, my yes, gosh. Relax. Take a deep fuck breath. Me. Come on. Come on. Get another one in. Do not waste any more. Just focus. Come on, man. Brian fucked up fish one after the other after the other. Overcooking it, undercooking it, ends up in the garbage. We're fucking wasting food. I know, chef. OK, you got Brian here. You got a pile of shit here. And that's where he was, about that far under a pile of shit. How's that cod going, Brian? Fuck me. For real? Did it again. Damn it. <sighs> I ran out of cod. For real? Is this fucking happening? Three cod, two lamb. How long? I have one cod left, chef. You've run out of cod. Yes, chef. What? Are you? What in the fuck are you doing? It's an hour and 15 minutes into dinner service, and neither kitchen has sent out an entree. This is ridiculous. It's not serious. Not OK. James. Yes, chef. We've run out of cod. Can we set the sea bass? Yes, chef. Let's go. Three bass, two lamb. Yes, chef. Coming right now, baby. Hey. It's coming, baby. Sorry, chef. You cook like a fucking baby. Won't happen again, chef. Get out! The yes, chef. Fuck! What's the matter with that jerk? Come on, man. I'll take it from here. While Justin takes over on the fish station, in the red kitchen, Roshni on the meat station. Wellington, please. Right now, chef. Is ready with her team's first entrees. Hot pan, chef. Hot pan, yeah. Oh, my god. Stop. Raw Wellington. Look at that. Two more coming up. Get it in the oven. Behind, behind, behind. Move. I feel like shit right now. I know how to cook meat. I just got to focus. Come on, Roshni, wake yes, up, please. Yes, chef. I'm awake, chef. You're awake, are you? Yes, chef. Well, do it then. While Roshni keeps diners on the red side waiting. How long has it been? A while. A while. Justin has jumped on fish. Where's the bass? And works to get the men back on track with entrees. Service, please. Now, the attention shifts to Don on the meat station to keep the momentum going. We're on the second table now, guys. Don't stop working. Table 10, two bass, one Wellington. Yes, yes chef. Wellington's going in this pan. Wellington goes in the fancy pan. Right, fancy pan. Once we got into entrees, Don is a guy who's driving the fucking car. And I'm in the back seat. You know how many seat belts I would put on? Like 17. Come on, Donald. OK, I'm ready to go on the Wellington. Right behind you. Wellington, yes. coming up. Uh, my Wellingtons are ready. I hope they're right. Obviously, Don. Pray. Royce, who cooked that Wellington? He did, Chef. Yes, perfect. what I do? Perfect Wellington. Oh. Yes! Thanks to their Wellington savant... Service. ...the blue team is getting entrees out to their diners. This is really good, yeah. Meanwhile, back in the red kitchen... Where's the Wellington? Walking, well, chef. walking chef. Roshni is finally ready with her Wellington. Wait, 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 wait. Or is she? They don't match. Wellington! Wellington! Wellington, waiting on the Wellington. Right now, chef. Wellington! Behind, 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 behind. One Wellington. Behind, behind. Walk your Wellingtons behind. up. Yeah. 
Oh, it's a little raw. Put it back in. Hold on. 45 seconds. Unbelievable. Roshni is taking the meat out of the oven, putting the meat back in the oven, taking the meat out of the oven, putting the meat back in the oven. Wait. Make up your mind what you want to do with this damn meat. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. You're only leaving it in there for two minutes. What do you think is going to happen? You think the little berry people are going to be in the oven going, cook, it's cooked now. It doesn't work like that. Where's the Wellington? Right now, chef. Pull that, pull that. Oh. That one looks more like this one. Right Wellington. Now, Wellington. Yeah, right now. Walking. Behind you, chef. Wellington up. Oh, fuck me. It's still stone cold. All of you, come here. This far into service, look, it's fucking raw. You, get out. Chef, please, sir, can I get, get one out. more? Get out, get out, piss off. Can someone put that back in the oven? I have a fresh one. Get out. Somebody jump on me, all right. While Danielle nervously steps up to the plate on the meat station, over in the blue kitchen. Away now, to New York Strip. Don is ready to hit another home run. OK, I'll be right there, got in it right now. Roll. Wait, he needs more time. He just cut a raw sirloin. So it's fine. So I'm ready. That's fine. Right. Sirloin needs to cook. That's raw. Roy, shut up. I am ready to go. To New York. I think it's a little raw. Listen to him talk and just blah, 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 blah. Is okay? Not really. Donald! Oh, shit. Not, not, not pink like it should be. Raw. Sorry, Chef. Can I have two medium rare New York strip? Yes, Chef. Come on, Dumbo. OK, one minute. It gets very frazzling in that situation in there. You're just, how would I put it, shitting yourself. I got one minute. Don, be honest with your time. Come on, Donald, let's go. One minute, Chef. One minute, one minute, Chef. One minute, I'm going up. One minute on that. You got to be kidding me. One minute. One minute on that steak, Chef. Donald. One minute, one minute, Chef. Three minutes ago, you said yes, one right. minute. Yeah, I'll be right yeah. there. One minute. What's going on? You're shouting one minute, just like a fucking idiot. OK. Uh, it's like a minute and a half. Oh, my god. Fuck hey, no. Come on, Donald. Yes, Chef. Coming up. Sorry, Chef. Jesus Christ. What the fuck? Oh, my god. Yeah. Stop. Stop. Oh. You keep me waiting. Then they arrive in the window, medium well. And you're telling me one minute. I come back four minutes later, and it's still one minute. Fuck. Get out! Fuck off! That sucked. But you know what, Chef? There's a lot of fucking shit going on in the kitchen. And he's sitting there chastising my fucking ass. I mean, I am trying my best. But no, that wasn't good enough for him. Sorry. Boys. Get that meat done. As the musical stations continue in Hell's Kitchen, Royce takes over on meat. And on the red team, Danielle is taking a turn at the Wellingtons. All right, I'm walking Wellington. Garnish. Garnish to the past. Sauce. I have the sauces. And the women have finally brought their first entrees to the pass. Great teamwork, guys. What is that? It's not even hot. All of you, come here. Just taste that for me. All of you, taste that. Taste the fucking garlic on that. Who seasoned that? Sorry, chef. Hey, hey, madam, madam, your mouth just explodes full of garlic. I understand that, chef. After that, stone cold sauce. Who sent me that sauce? Um, I did. Stop, both of you. The fuck off. Get out of my side. Get out of my side. Get out. While the women look for somebody, Anybody to take over on the meat station, over in the blue kitchen. I need two baths urgently. You got it. Yes, I got him. I got him. I got him. For some reason, both Royce and Justin chef. are cooking fish. Two baths. Let's go. We oui, chef. One minute. One minute. Ah, uh, hey, who's cooking the bath? Right here, chef. I am chef. I got two baths. I have it in my hand for oh. this order. I got two more. Oh my God. Hey, Royce, are you stupid? No. You've got Bastet, he's got Bastet. It's the same table, you idiots. And not one of you are fucking communicating. Both of you, fuck off out of here. Fucking hell. Fuck off! It's two hours into dinner service, and very few entrees have made it to the dining room. Starving. But more than half the chefs Get out! have been kicked out Get of the out. kitchen. Piss off! Get out! Get out! Get out! Both of you, fuck off out of here. Fucking hell. Justin and Royce are the latest casualties. Chef gets pissed off because people make mistakes, 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 and then the last guy who comes on there and makes a mistake gets fucked. 
Ridiculous. Y'all good over there? Yeah. Wellington. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. There's only five of us left in the kitchen, but we need to get this shit out tonight. We need to finish dinner service. Here, chef. Service, please. Go. Come back. Wellingtons. After that, it's one fast, one New York's trip, one Wellington. Yes, chef. Come on, guys. Pushing it out. Coming right now. Behind you is the sauce. Service, please. Unbelievably, fewer chefs has resulted in more food leaving the kitchen. The Wellingtons. Mm. Best of the past, chef. Service, please. Keep it going. Just focus. OK, I got it. I got it. I got one left. Come on, ladies. Coming up. Finally. Service, please. Good job, guys. Stove's off, Patrick. Line up, guys. Hurry up. Trust me, it won't take long. Tonight, it was painful just watching you disintegrate. It was like having a root canal and passing a kidney stone at the same fucking time. The losing team has to be both teams. All of you go back to the dorms and come up with two individuals from each team that you want to send home. Now, fuck off out of here, will you? We had a terrible service. These guys got their heads in their asses. I'm not afraid to say, get the hell out of the blue team so we can progress, because it's dead weight. Clemenza, do you want to start? Don, I just think you were, you were lost. You couldn't handle it. Well, the only thing that I fucked up was one New York. That's it. I'm fucking pissed. It wasn't me that brought the down, it was fish. Brian, your personal chef, you can't cook a piece of fish. It's not blowing one order, blowing 10 orders. You don't know how to cook a piece of fish. Brian couldn't get his head out of his ass. I know about five monkeys I could have done a better service tonight. I let everyone down. And that is something I will never fucking do again. My two nominees are Don and Brian. The two of you guys had a rough night. They put a strain on everybody else. I got to go with the same two. I'm same. Good. I am not one of the weakest chefs here, not even close. So I'm going to fight, and I'm not going home. It's not a hard decision, guys. It's whoever got kicked out of the kitchen tonight, I feel like. Y'all agree? Yeah, I'm down. I'm with Roche. Mine is for Roche as well. I screwed up my Wellington. That was it. I can't be up for elimination again. It's now three times in a row. I'm going to say Robin just based on stations that broke down. Robin, you were sinking. That's all I have to say. Yeah, but Danny, at one point, girl, you stopped communicating. It just ended at one point. Danny, you fucked me tonight. Now you're saying that I'm the one who was sinking. You can go fuck yourself. I'm going to vote for Daniel just because, like, she got quiet, y'all. I just feel like I haven't fucked up anything since I've been here. <laughs> Kimmy, you're just a fucking idiot, in my opinion. It's so much gray area. It sucks. I'm having a hard time with this one, too. It's not a hard decision. Three of us were kicked out. Choose two. Let's all be women about it. Royce, first nominee, and why? Don, I mean, he was just deer in headlights a couple days in a row. Second nominee. Brian Chef, he uh, burnt a lot of fish tonight and really went down sailing. Christina, Red Team's first nominee, and why? Roshni, the meat just held us up. Second nominee, and why? Um, um, uh, Excuse me? Uh, Danielle. Danielle, Roshni, Don, Brian, step forward, please. Let's go. Roshni, we've only had four services. You've been here three times. Yes, yeah, sure. Are you honestly over your head? I can't go home yet. I'm a fighter, I'm a team player, and I've got the passion, chef. Danielle. Yes, sir. Why do you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen? I haven't had any other problems besides communication. It's quite an important part. Yes, sir. Dom, why should you stay in Hell's Kitchen? Well, I think I have a lot to offer the team. Why does your team not believe in you? 
They want me to step up. They don't want you to step up, they want you to step out. They want you gone, Don. Brian, why should you stay in Hell's Kitchen? Chef, I'm a machine. You're a what? I'm a machine. A machine? Yes. I'm not looking for a fucking machine. Machines build cars. Chefs are individuals. OK. There's someone here whose head is just not in the game. My decision is... Don. Give me a jacket, big boy. Time to leave Hell's Kitchen. I just don't get it. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Chef. Good night. I do not get it. I thought that I would be able to come out here and, you know, that he would just love my food. And, you know, I thought I was more of a perfectionist, perfectionist um, than I was. Based on tonight's performance, I'm not done yet. I'm not going on like this. Danielle, back in line. Brian, back in line. Yes, Chef. Roshni, give me your jacket. Fuck. Let me tell you something really important. You're in the blue team. Get in there. I'm tough, Rosh. Thank you, Chef. Roshni. Chef. Maybe a change in environment may make up change in your performance. Yes, Chef. And fuck off. Holy fuck, was that scary. Thank God he gave me a chance. As long as I'm wearing a chef's jacket, it doesn't matter what color it is. I've been a fighter all my life, and I'm not stopping here. This is a kick in the ass. I'm ready to fight. Like, it's go time. Everyone in Hell's Kitchen starts at the bottom. Unfortunately, Don stayed there.